that makes you think. How true it is that cunning events cast their shadows before. What does the future hold? That's the all-embracing thought. And what's the answer? Oh, well, of course. The ancient Egyptians didn't know how well off they were. Imagine conditions then as they are today. Greetings, O oh Ramesses. I would purchase a sweet cake from thee. Greetings, O oh daughter of the Nile. But art thou registered with me? Or art thou come in the acid? Yea, verily. Thou knowst I am registered with thee. Old sourpuss. Give me my rations or I will pin back thine ears. Okay, okay. No need to get tough. Got your ration book? She hands over her ration book, but it wasn't a book as a modern mother or modern bookmaker knows it. Oh, no. It was as stony as the heart of that shopkeeper. Two coupons, thank you. And that cost her, with purchase tax, a couple of ivory watsits. Now what of the future? No paper, no ration books, but no reason to despair. Lovely drop of material, madam. And only ten pounds a yard. Yes, I like that too, madam. Very tasty, very sweet as the saying goes. The material's rationed, of course. But as there isn't any paper, there aren't any coupons. So what? Well, if we're to go forward, we must turn back. The shopper will have to shoulder her burden, see if she is of the right stamp. And has he made a good impression? Well, it's nice to be able to satisfy customers. And she has all the marks of a very good customer. Yes, I like that. Hmm, come up and stop me sometime. When we consider the shape of things to come, we must consider the shape of things as they are today. Will the shape of shells influence the shape of clothes? Vigilable. Yes, dear. That Tommy gun will come in very useful. The clock of the future will show just one hour. And what shall we do with Dad's tin hat? Ah, oh, I likes that.